you know, I'm a public person, but there's some things in my private life that I want to talk about today. And, um, and I'm very embarrassed and I'm deeply ashamed and I'm very sorry, but when I, I've, I've had a, a, an extramarital affair um, since I've been in the mayor's office and I have hurt a lot of people and um, the affair was between two middle-aged consenting adults um, and it was a mistake to do this and and I'm deeply sorry um, I'm, and I'm here today to, to talk frankly about what it means you know and, and to ask for forgiveness you know I know God forgives, but you know the people of Nashville don't have to, and I also want to ask for their forgiveness. How long did the relationship go on? Uh, the relationship started shortly after I came into the mayor's office. When it comes to the city of Nashville, you were Sergeant Forrest's boss. Why did you not say at some point, if I'm going to have this relationship, he needs to be removed from my detail. Yeah, that was a mistake, and I should have. Uh, you know, I, the the parts of the police policy about security detail are determined on the police side about how much security to provide to me, and based on my busy schedule, uh, you know. I had a lot of, of security detail and I should have gone to the chief and I should have had that frank conversation about this. So, so that was a failure as the mayor? That was a failure from a personal perspective to say, you know, this is something that's happening and I should, I should remedy this. I mean, what I should have done is not remedy him being a part of my security detail, whether or not I should have owned up and not had the affair. You were in a position of authority over him. Is there any chance that your position of authority played a role in the relationship? So, I, you know, I think that the, the Me Too movement is about hundreds of years of, of women being harassed and economically disadvantaged. This is, this is about two consenting adults, middle-aged, who had feelings for each other. And that's what this is about. During 2017 alone, uh, travel records show that Sergeant Forrest traveled with you to San Francisco, Salt Lake City, Denver, Washington several times, as well as New York. And then in September, he flew with you to Athens, Greece, and then the next month to Paris. Mm -hmm. All of his trips were paid for by taxpayers. Mm -hmm. Were all of those legitimate business trips? Absolutely, every single one of them. And if it hadn't been Sergeant Forrest who would have been traveling with me as detail, there would have been other detail in traveling with me. The, the, the detail security policy is set by the police department and they, they say I have to travel with security. Some people will look at that and say that taxpayers are paying for this relationship. What would you say to them? Well, I think what this reflects is again the policy that the police have about making sure that when I'm working that I have detail and uh, and I don't think it's a secret that I do work a lot and I do have a pretty aggressive schedule. Was he getting paid by taxpayer at any point when you all were having your personal time? Uh, no. Do you or Sergeant Forrest feel the need to pay taxpayers back? Uh, I think Sergeant Forrest did his job. Um, and I think that he did it with what was the policy of the police providing me security uh, when I was working. And I think that's what those records reflect. But I don't think that's what this is about. I mean, I think what this is about is, is being truly sorry for hurting people and for, for abusing the trust of, of Nashvilleians and, and, and saying how sorry I am for that. How can taxpayers know that all of that overtime was completely legitimate? Uh, I think that the, the records will show if you look at my schedule versus his overtime, you will see that my schedule reflects 
that I was out there working. You know the political world. Yeah. Um, there may be some people who say she cannot govern. She must resign. What do you say to them? No. Uh, this is a bad day. I'm going to have a lot more bad days coming up. I've already had my worst day. And, and I know the difference between a mistake and a tragedy. And this is a mistake. And I think that we've been able to show in this administration over the last two years that we've done a lot of really good things. And that's going to continue to be my focus. Last question, and, and this actually will be at your discretion. Okay. Um, your personal relationship with your husband is your business. Thank uh, you. Is there anything that you want to say? Well, I'm, you know, Bruce and I have a lot to work through, and we're working through it. Uh, I'm really blessed that I have a husband who is supportive of me, who has been there for me. We've been through a lot together, and this is something that personally we're going to work through.